Good afternoon, uh, Bacon Church community. I'm sending greetings to you from, on this unusually warm uh, early March Wednesday afternoon. And uh, I remember a year ago when this all began, this week being a, a week we were in scramble mode as we uh, were preparing for our very first ever online service live. And, and, and now a year later, it seems like that's just kind of like the new normal, right? And, and, and now a year later, we, we've gone through some ups and downs in this COVID year. And, and I believe that we're optimistic that we're on the other side of this and we're, we're seeing numbers that are down and we're seeing vaccinations being made available. And that gives us reason to, to hope that, that we are getting closer to being beyond this. That, that being said, we, we still are not out of the woods yet. And uh, the reality is that many of, uh, of our church community have not been vaccinated yet. And there are many in our church community who, who only feel safe if we have certain guidelines that are in place. And we want to be able to, to, to have that to be our mission, to think of others. So we're continuing the guidelines that we have in place even as we start to amp up what we're doing. So just to remind you what those are. Uh, as far as masks go, uh, when we're indoors, whether it's for a service or for a small group or for an activity, we're wearing masks at all times during the service and during those activities. Uh, we're going to continue to social distance indoors. We're going to set up our chairs in the service such that we're socially distanced and set up chairs for our small groups and activities in the same way. And we also ask, as usual, as we have been, that if you have been exposed to someone who, who has been tested positive for COVID or if you are showing symptoms that you not, in the last 72 hours, that you avoid uh, uh, a church activity for the safety of others. As far as things that are going on, probably not any earth-shattering updates, but want to make sure you're aware. We are having our Sunday morning service at 9.30 a.m. That's an indoor service. Uh, on Easter Sunday morning, a few weeks from now, on the 4th of April, we are going to have that indoor service a half hour earlier at 9 a.m. And then the hope is that we'll be meeting here at the pavilion over there too uh, for, for our first outdoor service of the new year weather permitting so keep your fingers crossed if that service is not able to happen because of the weather we'll still have the service we'll have it indoors uh, our kids have been having Sunday school now for several weeks that's for uh, ages two through fifth grade uh, so uh, be aware of that on Sunday mornings during our, our 930 service and then also on Wednesday night starting tonight March the 10th our 12-week kids caravan band program begins for grades K through five. That starts at seven along with our rugged uh, dudes men's group at seven and then also our teens for the first time in a while we'll, we'll be gathering together middle school and high school indoors. They'll be starting a, a town earlier at 6 45 p.m. So be aware of those things. Keep on the lookout for updates. Our small group leaders are talking and some groups will be going to in-person options after Easter. We're also going to continue to discuss uh, the, the uh, option of, of having our outdoor service more regularly so stay tuned to things that are going on and make sure that you're aware of all the updates so that you can be as fully involved as you feel comfortable being and are able to be we, we believe that church happens no matter what but we do value being able to get together in person if we can finding ways to do it online we want to be able to do that during during this Lent season we're preparing to celebrate at Easter let's let's do that together as a church community as we make our way through the, these these at times challenging times and uh, trust in him and lean on each other God bless